Hi guys, welcome back to BF Game Room. I'm Robin, and today I've gifted a game to Marcus, my better half. Hi, Marcus. Hello, Robin. Uh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to expect. I'm so glad, because uh, I've seen this game Earth. popping up here and there, Just and it looks cool, like and I like the premise, beautiful. and I think this is going to be right Others in your... Uh, this is going to be your bag, man. Okay. Uh, can I get a... Can I give a quick Steam uh, information uh, run? Please do. Please do. Yes. So, we're playing another Crab's Treasure. It's uh, developed and published by AgroCrab, and this is their second game, I think. In a vibrant, uh, under Water kingdom Creatures on the verge of collapse, a hermit crab embarks on a treasure hunt Some to buy back its rip its what his own. repossessed shell. Some the second game from Agro Crab. I've seen a lot of things about this, and I have some fun tidbits uh, behind the scenes for you, Marcus. But I want to wait for you to um, really, really try out the game first. Okay. Thank you, Robert. You're very welcome. How are you doing, my dude? I think Hello. this narration is very funny and quirky, uh, but we're gonna talk through it. Yes, like we always do. Uh, I'm fine. I'm the fucking summer hit hard here, so yeah. I'm trying to to get the house summer ready. Oh, nice. How are you? Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> got a house as well. Sir, <laughs> please open up. Uh, we got a lot of things to do before it's summer. Things to plan, things to cut oh, in the garden, and things to do. That's fun. Sir, you do you what, what do, do you like these kind of like you graphics? Do you, you don't play a lot of these yeah, kind of graphic yeah, games, do you? Fine. You're more more of a dark and gritty like gamer. It? I represent the Royal Duchy Well, of Sinai, which has I guess so, but I, I haven't like shows and games because of it. It just happens to be so. To yeah. So I hear you. I have no idea what to expect here. I think this is the story where, like, oh, they're repossessing your shell. Okay. I wish I w would have listened to the story. I'm gonna go back and listen to it when I edit, and I'm gonna understand everything. But for now, I'm a bit confused. Yeah. I'm just waiting to the, for this uh, intro to be over so you can experience the game. Yeah. And she puts a lot of effort into keeping it safe. Okay. Here we are, my dude. Here we are. Move legs. Move legs, run around, so you're gonna find some cash to pay for your shell, I guess? Yeah. yeah I think I saw something up to the right, the green orby thing to the right. There we are. Like, as I said, I've heard some fun behind the scenes and quirky things the studio have done, but I want to wait a bit for you to, like, dive into the game uh, to tell you, because I think you're gonna find it interesting. Okay. Found your stash of hard kelp. Everyone loves these delicious hard Okay. So this is eating just one of these makes you feel restored. Okay. So that's my healing, basically. This is healing and trading, it seems like. This is enough for taxes. Okay, let's see if... I hope so. That's enough. Hello. But... Okay, hey, uh, okay, it's not voiced all the way through. I'm, that's too bad. I like, I like when it's voiced. It's so much easier for me then. What the shell is this? So this is what we're trying to pay with. These are heart kelp pods, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Notice. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the shark, you. Yeah. If you're happy, you know it's happy about the fucking hands. That is one of my, like, go-to clips when I need to feel a bit better. Yeah, it's amazing. It's uh, y You probably should put it in this video, Roman. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do that. Or otherwise, just YouTube, uh, if you're happy you know it, Shark, and yeah. try to find the original. It's, it's, it, it, brighten up, it brightens up your day, I guarantee it. Okay, so we're- Fuck. Whoa! We are getting evicted, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting evicted. Fuck a duck. Okay, I'm naked. So, we're gonna have to get our shell back- Oh, there he is. Ah, it's fun that he's a lone shark. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, good. Good on you. <laughs> good on you, developer. Ah, I love that mouth opening so much. And like, you can see the little inches on the side of his jaw. <laughs> That's nice. Again, really not my problem. Okay, so the whole story is he got my shell, I want it back. Yeah. So, dive bomb him, Marcus. Dive bomb him. Let's go, my dude. Okay, so we are gonna play this underwater. We're organized. So, what kind of gameplay do you expect from this t game? Uh, I want to say a cute little puzzle game, but I assume 
that's not going to be the case. Oh, you 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 smell something. <laughs> Part of my French. You smell something fishy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. There's something fishy about this. Uh, uh, otherwise, you wouldn't be so thrilled for me playing this. But oh no. So, anything fun happened in your life, Marcus? Do you have a job? Do you know if you have a job? Uh, I do have a job. Thank you very much. Good. You got to keep your old job. Yeah. Great. Okay. Congratulations, my dude. That's so. I'm so happy to hear that. That's nice. Thank you. So swim, 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 swim. Your little panicky naked butt. Did you fuck it up? No, you got it. Good on you, dude. I got it. And you're you're all you're you're not broken from the jujitsu. Okay. Bread claw, a small chunk of plastic in the shape of a crab's claw. Maybe it has some value. Trade in for two hundred and fifty microplastics. <laughs> the microplastic is the way. Okay. This is kind of scaring me. And why do I have a health bar? <laughs> do you you do you, okay? Here we go, my dude. Do you see him? Hello? Another crab? Oh, hey, another crab. Excuse me, sir. Must be a friend. Yeah, it must be a friend. Okay. War. That's a weird thing to say. Moaning crab. Oh. Worthless. Oh, my God. Herpa derpa. I'm gonna hurt you. Uh, yeah. What's wrong with the ice? Oh, no. Marcus. What? Ah! What am I supposed to do? Okay, do you need to do you, do you need to I think you need to run. Yeah. I think you need to run at this stage. You need to run. Is the crab to the left holding something? It looked like it. Hmm. Yeah, there. No, he didn't. Let's go. Oh god, run, Marcus. Okay, so this turned into a running simulator. Yeah, it's a running simulator. Uh, surprise. Dum -dum -dum. Oh, they look cool, but it's scary as hell. My god. Oh, I have a sprint, goddammit. Why am I not using it? I played something Oh yeah, I, I I got my girlfriend to start playing uh, Little Nightmares. Sheesh! <laughs> Yay! Sheesh! I lost them, and we we, we we've had so many like, uh, uh, what the oh, shit, like joined heart attacks while playing that game. There's something down there, Marcus. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it a weapon? Mm. I guess I uh. it couldn't hurt to have ways to defend myself. I like that. No, I, that's how I live my life. Mmm, Robin. Yeah? This is starting to have a lot of similarities with Souls games. Do you have any explanation for that? Yeah. This is a colorful, uh, underwater, crab-based Souls-like, Marcus. Uh, okay, because so far all of the controls are the exact same as Dark Souls. Yes. Yeah. This this is a Souls game. Oh, okay. Tap right to dodge. Oh, what a surprise. So I have no excuse to be bad at this. No, no, you should, this should be your, like, time to shine. And, like, they've, they've, they made, like, a colorful, pretty, uh, Souls-like, and I, I think, like, it might have been an April Fool's joke. They put in, like, oh, but people have complained that it's too bright and happy, so we've made it somber. And you could, like, put on, like, a filter, so everything was gray, and everything was, like, a swampy march. Okay. And they put in, that was a joke, but they put in a a level from Souls, uh, Dark Souls, like a big castle or something. Uh-huh. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what it was called. It was like one of the ma main, like, castle, uh, castle levels. Tell me which castle, Robin. Oh my god. Just, just rattle through a bunch of them and I might be able to tell you which one it was. Uh, oh, now you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Maybe... Uh, just go towards that DNA-looking thing and let's, like, rattle off a few uh, castles from the game. Uh, I'm going with Drangelic Castle. I uh, know, it wasn't that one. Oh, do you think this is, like, a bonfire? Ah, oh, that could be it. No, Moonshell. Touch this glow and Touch to restore the... long yeah, forgotten... Yeah, it's a, it's it's a bonfire. bonfire. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. If you're a slain, you will revive at the last one you stated. Yeah. I, I've seen this shit before. Yeah. Okay, so here oh. we are, Marcus. The Shallows. So now it's an open world game. Yeah, now it's now it's now it's souls like. Okay, Robin. We need to not... we need to fight yeah. one boss at least. Yep, absolutely. This is not the typical typical uh, souls like music, is it, Marcus? No. Not sure what to feel. I feel it's a weird feeling of betrayal or suspicion, I guess. 
La da 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 da. Okay. The huge sandcastle in the distance. Uh, yeah, sorry. I like this music. I made that you could buy the soundtrack for the game, and I might do that because this was nice. Okay, so now it's a roast battle. Okay, so he's just being an. Oh, he's attacking us, Marcus. Is he attacking us? Yes. Okay, it's fight. Oh, that's cool. So, you see, okay, good. Oh, our first, first shell. I shall not the name of it. Oh, fuck. I really thought shit. Okay. Make it to the castle like the root snail said, okay. Yeah, I need to find, uh, find a captain and buy a shell from him so I can, uh, because I need clothes to give him. Okay, good. So that's the captain. Hello. There is. Hello. Oh no. Please be bad guy. Please be bad guy. Hello. Oh, uh, go through the hatch where they flew out, maybe. Ah. Hey. Now I can get in to see the Duchess. Duchess, yeah. Found a weird metal shell. Cool. Ah, okay, so this is shield. Yeah. Oh, now we can hide inside of it. That's cool. Do you want to ch choose the... Here we go, Robin, I think. Oh, my Christ. Crab, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to grab a ticket? I didn't expect voice acting, so I actually got you a bit scared. Yep. And I don't like that we are so quite, a, uh, quite a long way from our nearest DNA thing. Yeah, and the fact that they had, like, small crabs tied up to straws. Oh, yeah. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's just screaming all of his lines. That's the best kind of acting. They put a bucket over his head and just... Steven, scream this, please. Yeah? Okay, Marcus. Show us that you played a lot of Dark Souls. Oh, God. I'm gonna be so embarrassed. We made a fucking n quiet playthrough Dark Souls series that no one watched. So, this, this is where you prove yourself. Oh, cool. He has his own horse. That's awesome. Okay. What's your tactic, Marcus? I want you to very, very methodically talk me through every move you're making. Well, blocking seems to be kind of OP. Yeah, so, but you, you, you look at your shell meter down to the left. You have like one block left. Yeah, but I assume I'm gonna be able to go and grab some more. No. Then, okay, now you have to run and get another shell, but can you do that? Okay, good. Oh, no. Do you think the other shells are gonna be able to break, or is it just these shells? I assume... Uh, maybe it's special because it's just a metal can. Yeah. Can you, can you heal up now? Yeah, we can. Good. Oh, good. Why did I hear another scream? Is there another enemy approaching? Nice, Marcus. Unblockable attacks, okay. So attacks are unblockable, aggro attacks, signaled by the aggro symbol. Okay, so an angry claw, then you can't block them. Do you have to dodge then, okay. No. Dodge, run, or jump away. Okay, good. Just like that. You should have... Oh my god, you're fucked. Okay. Dodge. Oh god, I'm clenching, Marcus. Everything's clenching the waist down. Nice. That's how you do it. That is it as responsive uh, controls and like uh, attacks and moves that you wish? Uh, yeah, I would say. Nice. Like, because you know, I'm not at all like I haven't been in this world at all, but I know that a lot of like Souls clones didn't get the responsiveness right. It's floaty. The hitboxes are weird. Okay. Like the the hitboxes need to be like on point for these kind of games to work. Yeah, I guess so, or at least a bit smaller than. <laughs> but that I think that is general for all games. You yeah, yeah but it's in. very important. In no, oh. I died. You died. Back. Cut two. Okay, dodge to left. Dodge to left. Joint. The funny thing, people, is that we paused the audio because we wouldn't surpass uh, 30, uh, 30 minutes. 
So I had to go through, and we haven't re-synced our audio yet, so Marcus just talked to a very specific clip part of the recording, so I have to go through everything and try to link that up, sync that up without any uh, syncing done beforehand, so thank you for that, Marcus. Ah, oh, I got it, Robin. Hey! Pollution Scout. That was self-defense, right? No, that was active murder. First boss, Marcus. Congratulations. Yeah, Robin, I have to give you so much credit for this for this game. It was it's super smooth. It's nice graphic. It's really yeah. It's it's like a Happy Dark Souls. I have to give them that. Yeah, it's a Happy Dark Souls. You know what? Let's run into the sunset while we end the episode. And if you're if you want something Dark Soulsy that's not as dark as Dark Soulsy. Yeah, you should you should really try this out. Yeah, totally agree. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.